beautiful friends and welcome to your horoscope for the week of January 20th where the buzz this week is Aquarian energy. Yes, it is time to say happy birthday Aquarius. Happy, happy, happy birthday and we're also going to celebrate by just gifting you a new moon this week. <laughs> I love birthday time. So this is going to be an interesting kind of week where we actually get to step outside of our boxes this week, you guys. Make some proactive, positive changes with this Aquarian energy. And if you are not familiar with or you're not typically comfortable channeling Aquarian energy, I'm going to tell you right now, I have a book called Channeling the Zodiac, and it talks about how, even if you are not able to fully resonate with that sign, how to channel their energies to use that during their season season or use those areas in your chart to really bring it to life because we all have all 12 signs available to us in our chart. Just some may be a little bit easier to tackle and to channel than other ones are. But this is a week of Aquarian energy. So boom, shakalaka, let's get in here. Actually, before we get in here, Astrology 101 and 102 are up and enrolling. Classes begin in February. We meet once a week live via Zoom. It is such a good time. Details in the description box, okay? All right. We start off this week with the sun heading into the energy of Aquarius on Monday, January 20th. So happy, happy birthday. Now, keep in mind, especially if you're new to astrology, we say Aquarius and you hear that word aqua and we think water and Aquarius is not a water sign. And even though their uh, their mentor or their mascot is um the water bearer, they're not. This is an intellectual time. We are in a mind thinking, group thinking, intuitive, brilliant, genius, innovative four weeks of energy that comes from the space of the mind. It's really very, very lovely. So keep that in mind as you're traveling. You're not traveling in the sun, in the energy of water. The sun brings light, heat, and motivation, right? So your motivations are going to be a little bit more around intellectual pursuits. So as we focus on that and we focus on groups and organizations and our friends and our social groups and our tribes this week, keep in mind that in the intellectual way, this is where you're going to be doing some thinking and making some decisions about what's right for you as we travel forward in the week. Now, the other qualities and characteristics I want to bring to your attention about Aquarius that you may need in your back pocket this week is Aquarius is that energy that's a little eccentric. They're original. They're highly independent. They're a little bit different. It's rebellious, right? It's like, I don't need to always go with the flow. Remember, as we're traveling in the energy of the uh, cosmic world, when Saturn builds structures, that keep us in too tight or structures have outgrown their effectiveness in our life, it's Uranus who comes down and he's like, whoop, let me knock these down. These don't work anymore. So he's very surprising and he will come and do a good thrashing to the things that don't work so that you can innovate. You can put something new, something creative, something long term. He like toils that ground and gets you all ready for it. So think about that this week as you're traveling with your actions and your ideas, okay? Now, on Thursday the 23rd, we've got the sun coming into a square with Uranus, okay? Now, the sun is over here in Aquarius, so already ruled by Uranian energy, but then Uranus is over in Taurus, who is as equally stubborn. So we have just all the stubborn energies taking on a square to each other here on the 23rd. Now squares in astrology, yes, they represent areas of tension. Um, we feel pressure around them. I personally love a good square because the square is the 911. It stimulates us into action because it says, look, I need you to take action. Move. I'm going to keep making you feel square tense, small, I need you to take some action. So with the sun on this side, you're trying to get some new ideas. You're trying to express yourself individually, independently, differently. And it's taking on Uranus who's in Taurus that says, I need to do my material world differently, right? I need to take some different actions. Something in my world doesn't fit. So under this square, first of all, it requires you to be highly open-minded because these energies are so stubborn. If you're going to convince a stubborn sign or a stubborn energy to make any changes, you've got to come at it very open-mindedly, right? You've got to be flexible because what this energy may feel like is a little bit of uncertainty. What do I do? You think like the rebel this week, right? On the other hand, some of the things that may just happen is changes in your environment 
environment may happen out of nowhere under this square. But again, it will lead you to a position where you need to take some kind of action in order to resolve the square. So ultimately, you're going to get out of your comfort zone this week one way or the other. I would much prefer that you go willingly than being drugged by the universe, though, my friend, okay? All right, we continue to build this beautiful week of Aquarian energy and dip into the pool of doing it different as we get ready for our new moon that is happening. It's the birthday present for Aquarians on Friday, January 24th. Now the new moon is the time that we plant these seeds of intention, but the new moon is also a dark moon. It's the darkest, it's the quietest piece of the moon phase. We're really ripe to set intentions of a new beginning. And the new beginning doesn't mean you have to start something brand new, like a whole new project. It means I've got the same old thing going on and I'm trying to be open-minded. You know, universe, help me see new perspective. Please bring into my life people who can change my perspective or show me how to get out of my comfort zone, right? Because I would love to believe that I am open-minded enough to just change my mind and do it different. But I'm not, you guys. Sometimes I need a person to come along and say, hey, would you like to try this? to even see, to even just gather the information about if it's right for me, is it right for my business, is it right for my family? So stay open-minded, stay flexible, even at this particular um, moon, right? Now at this particular moon as well, we've got this sun moon energy that is just so Aquarian, right? It's just got this theme all week of being very Aquarian. So what it leaves us is in this space of breaking out of the old and moving into something new, okay? So I just want you to take that as the theme this week. Now on Saturday, ah, on Saturday, the 25th is the Chinese New Year. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. This year is the year of the rat, and we know that it is the Chinese New Year, not only because Google told us so, but because it's the first day of a new, um, of a lunar new year, right? So I know we've got some friends here on um, YouTube and certainly online that really talk a lot more about the Chinese Zodiac and the Chinese New Year and stuff like that. And I will do a video on the Chinese New Year, but I am not gonna get too in depth with it in this video because it's not my niche. And if I don't know, I don't have any business telling you about it. But we can celebrate that it is the Chinese New Year, the year of the rat. And the rat, as far as I do know, is first in the Chinese Zodiac. So when something comes in first, it gives us the indicator that we have a beginning happening in some way, shape, or form. So I'm going to go find us somebody to talk about this so we can all be a little bit more informed. And if you know stuff or this is a part of your, your daily living, your daily practice, feel free to share with us in the description box down below. All right, you guys, it sounds like we've got an action-packed, get-out-of-the-comfort-zone kind of week. I look forward to seeing um, how this week comes out for you. Have a lot of humor. Have a lot of flexibility this week and tell me all about it if you can, okay? Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. Know I love you a ton and I will see you guys next week. Bye everyone.